Today we're taking a closer look at my tiny desk and home office, where I spend basically all of my work hours. This is the desk of a writer, teacher, vlogger, and book lover. It's meant to be efficient, but also, and perhaps more importantly, cozy and welcoming. You can see that my desk has gone through many different phases over the past few months, but I always find myself going back to this layout, and this is the one I want to remember this desk by. The most important piece in my desk is my MacBook Air 2018. I need to use an external hard drive in order to edit videos in it without problems, but other than that, I'm completely satisfied with it. It's light and not too big, 13 inches to be exact, and very convenient to take with me anywhere I go. The reason I got a keyboard and trackpad was mostly because of ergonomics, so I can be eye level with the screen while I work, but I was also pleasantly surprised when it allowed me to increase my writing speed. Even though I don't have a lot of space, I've always wanted to fill my desk with books that inspire me, so I didn't restrain myself here. Next, my journals. I write in them almost every day. They're fundamental for me to keep a routine, to stay sane, and to make progress in all of my projects. My wall is filled with post-its about different things. Some of them are story ideas, others are to-dos, others are simply notes I don't know where else to put. This chair is definitely the most comfortable I've ever owned. It's usually a bit chilly in the morning, so I like to wrap myself up in a blanket during my morning writing sessions. My lamp is adjustable because my eyes are very photosensitive and I can't work with strong light. That's why I often need to close the curtains slightly even when the most beautiful sunshine is gracing my desk. Finally, I have some decorative pieces such as a miniature typewriter. The cats are me and my husband. We got them at the Forbidden City in Beijing on one of the coldest days of 2019. I hope you found some inspiration in this video and I'll see you in my next one.